Excel allows us to work with data in multiple workbooks through linking workbooks. So in the previous video, we saw how we could work across multiple worksheets within a workbook. In collaborative environments, however, it often is required that we work with data in multiple workbooks. We have exactly this example here where we need to collect the data from quarter 1 to quarter 3 workbooks and summarize those values into total reimbursements. Now, we're going to be working with four workbooks and we want to see them all on the screen at the same time. Now, let's go get those other workbooks open. So, I'm going to press Ctrl O. I'm going to come to Browse. Navigate to where your work workbooks are stored. And then, can you please select L3 fin a quarter 1 to L3 fin a quarter 3. Just hold your shift key down to select all of them and then click on open. Now, all our workbooks are opened. But it'd be much easier if I could see them all on screen simultaneously. So to do this, we can use arrange all function. This is available on the view tab just right here in the window. But there's a great little feature I'd like to show you called tell me what you want to do. This is very handy. If you click in here and start typing what you want to do, Excel will actually give you a short list of things that meet your criteria. Say sort. There. Or let's say filter. There. So let's look for a range. So there and click on it. So the arrange window will pop up and you will see there are four choices. So we are going to tile them later. So we try this first, the horizontal, and click OK. And as you can see, you will see all of your workbooks in a horizontal layout. So double click again. And then click on arrange all again. And then let's try vertical. And you will see them vertically like this one. Or if you'd like, so the other one is cascade. Then you can see your your worksheets cascaded. And then let's go back and click on that one and press OK there and now all four of my workbooks are laid out nice and easy for me to use now what i want to do here is get the total values from each of these workbooks into this workbook i do not want to type them though partly because i'm very likely to make an error and it's going to be very slow but also because if the values should change in one of these workbooks, I need this one to update automatically. So we're going to use exactly the same technique we used when working across worksheets. And you'll see it works almost exactly the same with one small exception. So start by clicking in C7 of the linking workbooks. And then just like before, Type in equals. Now, I'm going to come to my quarter one workbook. So, click once. And then, choose the cell that you want to pull through. There. Now, just have a quick look at this formula. It got first the name of the workbook then the name of the worksheet, and then the cell. But it 
done something different. It applied an absolute cell reference and this happens automatically when working across workbooks. Now we're going to check on this formula in a moment so we want to get rid of that. So to do that, just press your F4 button three times. There. Absolute cell reference gone. Now to get to this next cell, I'm going to press tab. And we'll just repeat that process. So type in equals, come to my quarter two, and then go to the data you want to pull through and then press F4 three times and then press tab again and then do the same thing with it there F4. now what we've done here is we've pulled through the values from the workbooks but we've also linked our expenses workbook to our three quarterly workbooks and what that means is if a value changes in one of them it would update here as well let's test that theory so let's say for example in quarter two kevin's actually did um 90 kilometers here in june so we put in 90 um, notice my miles driven here in my summary tab you see it change this change so we'll just bring it back to what was it before and the good news is Relative cell references still works. So if I am going into here, select my top three calculations and drag them and drag them using my fill handle, the values are pulled through. One small problem is I've lost my formatting. So let's just come into here to say fill without formatting there so that worked beautifully i'm just going to make this workbook maximized again so you can actually see what's going on so let's just finish this off quickly so i'm going to copy this bottom four calculations so. and for this one control v and then the last three for this one, control V. There. You can see I very quickly completed my total reimbursements for Manila. Now, linking is obviously very beneficial when you have workbooks that are stored in a similar location and aren't likely to move around too much. The problem is, once those workbooks start moving or being renamed, the links can get damaged. So the next thing I need to show you is where you can go to manage these links. So I'm going to come to my data tab. And just underneath the data tab, you'll see the edit links. This is normally grayed out, but here we have links. So when we click on it, we can now see our three link workbooks. If one of these links becomes damaged, we just click change source and it will let us go and correct it to where the workbook actually is located or what it's called. So I'm going to click cancel because it's fine. The other option we have is to break a link. I strongly recommend you don't do this unless you're absolutely certain you need to because once you've broken the link, it is permanently moved. You can't simply undo that process. But let's see what happens when we break the link to our quarter one workbook. There. 
there's my warning. I'm going to go ahead anyway and then I close this dialog box. Come back into my workbook. You'll see when I go to any of the cells. The formula has been replaced by the last known value. So I completely lost that link and the only way to get it back is to repeat the process we did earlier. <laughs>